Hello, welcome to this channel. I'm Marcus. And for today's topic, engineering economy. Okay. So let's begin with the rate of interest. Rate of interest is the amount earned by a unit principal per unit time. Or simply, rate of interest is the cost of borrowing money. Okay. So, meron itong two types. The nominal rate and the effective rate of interest. The nominal rate is the basic annual rate of interest. Effective rate is the actual or the exact rate of interest earned on a principal during a uh, one-year period. Okay, to compute for the I effective or effective rate, ito. please memorize. Uh, I effective is equal to quantity 1 plus the nominal rate over the M, the number of interest period per year. Raised to m minus 1. Yan. Memorize lang yan. Okay, let's try this uh, formula in the following examples. Problem number 1. What is the effective rate corresponding to 18% compounded daily? And assume 1 year is equal to 360 days. Okay. I effective is equal to 1 plus... The nominal is point, uh, 18 or 18 divided 100 or 0.18 no? over daily, compounded daily. So assume 360 days. So we, we will use 360 then raise to 360 minus 1. Okay. Then I effective is equal to use our calculator. So we have here 1 plus 1 plus 0.18. Okay. Then, yung fraction, 360. Then, parentheses, raised to 360 minus 1. There. Press equals 19.72%. So, diretso na natin, no? Times 100. So, we have 19.72%. Okay? So, hanapin mo na to sa choices. Yan na yung answer. Okay? Madali lang, no? Okay, number 2. Let's try this. What rate of interest compounded annually is the same as the rate of interest of 8% compounded quarterly? So, rate of interest compounded annually, uh, doon naman sa isa, rate of interest of 8% compounded quarterly. So, annual, then quarter. So, eh, ano lang, equate lang natin, no? Equate lang natin annually and quarterly. So, I effective annual and I effective quarter. Okay, so to solve, alam na, alam na natin yung formula, that's 1 plus uh, nominal rate over m raised to m minus 1. And since annual, ang period nito is 1. Or, lagay natin dito is 1 plus, say, nominal rate annual over period of 1 raised to 1 minus 1. Equals the effective rate quarterly. So we have 1 plus nominal, no? Nominal is 8%. Lagay na lang natin. Quarterly over, since quarter, over 4, raised to 4, minus 1. And ito is 0 0.08. Okay? So, let's uh, cancel this negative 1. Parehas naman sila. Then, solve for uh, the rate of interest dito sa annual. No? Or nominal rate annual. Uh, nominal rate annual and yung uh, interest, mag-equal kasi sa 1 since uh, ang mode kasi, yung period is 1. Okay, kaya equal sila. Okay, anyways, no? Ito yung ating hinahanap. So, this is equal to uh, 1 plus, tulad ko lang ulit, 0 0.08 over 4. Okay, raised to period 4, no? Then, itong 1, ito, lipat natin dito sa kabila. Okay? So, compute na natin. So, we have 1 plus 0 0.08 over 4. Okay, then raised to 4. Uh -huh, minus 1. Equals 0 0.0824 times 100 is 8%, no? 8.24%. So, yan na yung answer. So, kailangan mo lang siyang i-equate. Okay? Again, 
Uh, yung nominal rate kasi dito, uh, yung hinanap natin, no? uh, mag-equal kasi yung I sa effective rate kapag ang uh, mode of compounding mo is 1. I mean, 1 year or annually. No? Okay, so dito tayo sa number 3. What is the effective rate of 15% compounded semi-annually? So, I effective uh, equals semi-annual is 2, no? So, 1 plus 0.15 over 2 raised to 2 minus 1. Okay? So, yan na yun. Complete na natin. So, 1 plus 0.15 over 2 squared minus 1 equals Okay, this is 15.56. So, I effective is 15.56%. So, ganun lang siya gawin. Another. Okay, what interest rate compounded monthly is equivalent to 10% effective rate? Uh, binigay naman yung effective rate, no? Ang given is effective rate na 0.1. Yes. Then, ang hinahanap mo ngayon is the nominal rate. So, 1 plus nominal rate over anong period? Compounded the monthly. Ilang months? Isang taon? 12. Raised to 12 minus 1. Okay. So, let's solve for the nominal rate. So, let's use our calculator. Okay. So, 0.1. Okay, multiplied by 1 plus, okay, alpha x na lang gamitin natin, or x, alpha then x, no? alpha then, okay, close parenthesis, okay, over 12, er, uh -huh. parenthesis, raised to 12, raised to 12, then minus 1, then shift, then solve. Solve for x. So, times 100, meron tayong 9.57%. 9.57%. So, ganun mo siya computent, no? Sa board exam, pwede nyo hindi mo na ito isulat. Diretso mo sa calculator. Okay lang, pang mas mabilis. Okay. So, number 5. So, what is the nominal rate comp uh, compounded semi-annual yields the same amount as uh, 16% compounded quarterly. So, ang hinahanap mo is the nominal rate semi-annually. Dapat equal naman siya sa 16% compounded quarterly. Oh, ganun din. No? So, equate mo lang yung semi-annual sa quarterly. Okay? So, diretso na natin. So, we have here 1 plus. Okay? Ang hinahanap natin is semi-annual. So, nominal rate. Lagay ko lang dito. SA, no? Semi-annual. So, alam natin, ang period is 2, raised to 2, di ba? Minus 1, equals, effective rate naman dito, so 16% compounded quarterly, is equal to 1 plus 0 0.16 ng nominal over quarterly, so 4, raised to 4, minus 1, okay? So, consider na natin yung 1, and compute na natin diretso dito sa calculator. Okay, so meron tayo, 1 plus, okay, alpha, then close parenthesis, so x over 2, okay, then parenthesis ulit, close, square, then alpha equals, okay, parenthesis, then 1, 1 plus 0.15 over 4, okay, then, Raise to 4. Then, shift, then solve. Then, x is 16.32. So, I and our semi-annual is 16.32% or 0.1632. Ayan. Madali lang, no? Okay. Number 6. What is the effective rate of 14% compounded semi-annually? Ay, madali lang din to. So, I effective is equal to 
So, 1 plus 0 0.14, ito yung nominal, over the M, the period, compounded semi-annual, so 2 and square, minus 1. Okay? So, I effective is equal to, okay, compute. <clears throat> so, 1 plus 0.14 over 2 squared minus 1. Okay. So, times 100, 14.49%. Okay. Number 7. What is the corresponding effective rate of 18% compounded semi-quarterly? O, paano naman kapag semi-quarter? So, yun lang yung mag... Uh, dito ka lang mag-iisip eh, no? Yung pag may mga ganyan. Like say, for example, meron pa isa, bi-monthly naman. Paano kung bi-monthly? Okay? So, pag sinabi mong uh, semi-quarter, ilan ang period? Eight. O, eight interest period. Okay? Okay, let's solve this. So, I effective. Okay? Equals 1 plus, okay, 0.18. Again, 8 or semi-quarter yan. So, raise to 8 minus 1. So, I effective is equal to, hmm. So, we have 1 plus 0.18 over 8. Then, raise to 8. Minus 1. Okay. There. So, 19.48. Times 100, no? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Kapag uh, semi-quarter, meron tayong 8 periods. Kapag naman, let's say, um, uh, bi-monthly. Ano naman yung bi-monthly? Ilang period yung bi-monthly? Review lang. Ano yun to? Bi-monthly. Uh, ilan? 6? No, 6 periods naman. Bi-monthly. Okay. Yes. Okay, number eight. Okay. Find the nominal rate which, if converted quarterly, could be used instead of 12% compounded semi-annual. Find the nominal rate which, if converted quarterly, could be used instead of 12% compounded semi-annual. So, parang uh, pares lang nito ng problem, nabago lang din lang yung statement. Okay? So, ang gawin natin is, equate natin yung uh, effective rate quarterly sa effective rate semi-annually. Okay? Yep. So, let's say, uh, I effective. Uh -huh. Gawin ko nga ito at uh, medyo mahirap magsulat. Yan. I effective. Uh, quarterly, yes, then I effective semi-annually. So, ganun din, no? So, meron tayong quarterly. So, yun ang hinahanap natin, no? Which if converted quarterly. So, meron tayong uh, I nominal, nominal rate quarterly. Yan yung hinahanap natin. Siyempre, quarterly. So, over 4, raised to 4, minus 1. Then, equals... Ito yung uh, effective uh, semi-annual. So, meron tayong nominal rate of 12%. So, 1 plus 0.12 over 2 semi-annual. No? Then, square minus 1. Okay, tanggalin na natin yung dalawang minus 1. Then, let's solve for uh, nominal rate quarterly. No? Ito. Solve natin ito. So, calculate na lang. Okay. So, we have uh, 1, 1 plus, uh, okay, alpha x over 4, then raised to 4, okay, equal, then quantity 1 plus 0.12 over 2, then square, then if equals, we have 11.83%. Times 100 lang, no? 11.83%. So, ganun lang siya gawin. Sa board exam ng plumbing arithmetic, 
no eto madalas to yung uh, financial arithmetic yan yung mga engineering economy so maraming lumalabas na mga ganito conversion so again kailangan mo lang siyang uh, alam mo lang yung i think formula that the i effective is equal to 1 plus the nominal no nominal rate over the m the period raised to n minus 1 so kailangan alam mo lang to then, kapag naman magko-convert ka na, equate mo lang sila. Kung quarterly to annual or semi-annual to quarterly, kung ano man ang uh, ibigay sa problem. So, ganun lang ang uh, effective rate and nominal rate. And madalas, uh, mas malaki talaga ang effective rate sa uh, nominal rate. Okay? Kasi yung... yung uh, Effective rate is the exact or the yung uh, actual rate. Yan. Okay, sana may natutunan kayo. Ito yung part 1. So, yung part 2 nito is yung uh, compounded na. No? Yung compounding. Doon tayo. Siyempre, may mga kasama na rin na ganito ng mga effective rates. Okay, so see you there. Okay, bye-bye.